welcome back everybody to Foreman Simulator 19 here on Gold Crest Valley 19. It's your host, Mr. Blue, aka Tommy Miller. <sighs> Not with the most today, folks. Not with the most. Look at our money of her. And 81,000. But um, it, it's still the same day as the past two episodes. I hate doing it this way, but I got a lot of work to do, so slow time down. Um, let's go in here. Our cotton price has stopped at $5,017.56. We're going to sell it, folks. And also, our sugar beet is pretty much at 177 So, we're going to sell a load of that and those two cotton module bales uh, today. And... I don't know how I get to it today, but we got a parents cultivating, and this thing here is giving me a bad problems. Uh, you'll see when we get to the end. Uh, also, I gotta get some lime down, maybe a little bit more fertilize. As you can see, this is my main focus here. Pretty much had a stop there on the mountain, leveling. I want to go all the way over, level it out, but. Since I don't have GE, Giants Editor, I can't go in and take the bushes out. So if I do level that flat across, there's going to be bushes floating in the air. And I'll tell you that here in a minute. I need to jump out. Move this tractor. No, I got in on the wrong side. But, you know, there's a door on that side. I just can't fit in real life. Now, I want you to watch what this tractor does. Not the one I'm in, but the hired worker over there. Alright, you see that? You see the front end went off the ground? See how it's doing now? Back end all raised, the front end up off the ground. Now the back end. Look, 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 look. What in the world's going on? It wasn't doing this earlier. Now, I had a bunch of updates. Global Company got an update. Uh, so that through a bunch of other stuff, had them get an update. So I don't know if it's the tractor or the cultivator. So I'm probably going to have to get in here and uh, I don't know who's driving it. Sarah. So another thing, I went in and set my hard worker hands. But I'm gonna take it off. No worker now. And it still does it. It does it with me. Look at that. Look at that. So I'm gonna swap this cultivator out. Go rent the module truck. Cause we gotta sell those two uh, bales of cotton, modules of cotton, whatever you wanna call them now. And I will see y'all in a minute. Okay? We're gonna come back. We're gonna sell some cotton, folks. All right, folks. I decided to go. I ain't got too many more choices left with the horsepower range we got. This Kiverlin TLG 600, ever how you pronounce that? Uh, it's 5.6 meters, 9 miles per hour, but it's 120 horsepower. Our 4960 is a 220 horsepower. So, find it. Alright, it's ours. Alright, while I'm in here. I'm going to go to, really don't know what it's in, but all right, when you enter vehicles, you go to cotton technology, and it's right here if you have this mod, 145,000, you know, brand new, it carries two bales, 60 mile an hour, yeah, can't go wrong there, uh, you got the color selection, which, you know, really don't need to worry about that but if I was going to buy it it looked like that and no GPS we don't need that uh, we want to lease this it's going to be 7,548 to lease it we should have everything done within less than an hour so that's why I'm leasing it in no sense in buying it right now so all right we got that leased now we got to go over here and sell this thing whatever it's doing it's probably a mod conflict somewhere so I wouldn't blame it on that you know on itself so 
Uh, we're just gonna sell it. How much we got it? Thirty thousand. Okay. Alright, that's sold. Let's get to this uh going back to the market shop here. Oh not the market shop. Jeez, I'm at the market shop, Mr. Blue. Oh by the way, I forgot to tell you, I bought the uh pressure washer and look how it spawned. Good one. I got this unrealistic but this is the easy the, the lever tool commands I can't say earlier anymore go ahead and turn my super strength on and unrealistic and oh by the way I gotta do a thing on the bailers too I don't have my paperwork with me right now but one one of y'all you know who you are and uh, comment down below saying it's you. If it's you now, don't I know who you are? So don't be tricking nobody. Um, wants to know about my baler and uh, how it looks and stuff. And I'm sorry I don't know the name right off the top of my head. It's early in the morning, and I tend to forget a lot. All right, that seems to be doing pretty good. We're going to take this back to our farm shop. Uh, oh man, I can't do it. Of course, probably won't let me do the 4960 because it's not set up for it. That's all right. I'll get it back here in a minute. Let's go jump in our... Now, this is what a module truck looks like. It's this, uh, these little lines here are little chains. You can see like right here right there and they go that way and, or they come back uh, these little thing here are little gears that help pick up the cotton off the ground and they just rotate one way or another depending on if you're loading or unloading and these are tracks of course y'all knew that right let me get down here I'm going to explain this a little bit better I don't explain a lot on here I noticed that but anyway the bed raises up, which lowers the tail, and it puts pressure on these tracks. And when he goes to back up, well, I'll show you that here in a minute. First, we gotta get to the cotton because I don't want to lose my price. Start this bad boy up. First, let's look inside. Typical truck. Typical truck. Yep. Looks like a Kenworth. Is it a Kenworth? I don't know. Kind of looks like a Freightliner, and then again, it looks like a Kenworth. I'm not too good on my trucks, folks. I need to do like a mod review. And there's your first set of lights, there's your second, third, fourth, this off. Okay. And off we go. Hey, you know what? This will go by course play. So let's go. Uh, where's my market? Right there. This needs to be bigger so I can see it. Market to farm. And drive course. Stop at the last. Don't take out that stop sign. I didn't see you nothing. All right. Oh, good. You didn't. I'm going to get this back to the farm, folks, and I'll be right back. All right, don't do this at home, kid. This one seems to be working pretty good. Going in the ground just right. See what it looks like behind. Oh, yeah, that's pretty smooth. All right, let's go over to our truck. Stop driver. Yeah, I gotta put some stuff away. Whoa, not the mailbox. Oh, by the way, they work fast on the shed. Look at it. They done come and got the shed. They were like, plop, plop, plop. Down it goes. Plop, plop, plop. And the truck and gone. So I'm like, oh my. Alright. Now, 
you know, what I have realized this truck here, the way it looks is realistic, but the way it loads is is not. And, and in real life, it would only hold one of those bales there, or modules. Ooh, 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 ran right over that bush. But the guy would, I don't know, this thing get, no, can't use the mirrors. Anyway, he would get straight by using his mirrors on each side. And he would have to be completely straight, couldn't be off anyway or anything like that. He would get probably about, well, about right there. Stop, stop, right there, right there. And then he would raise, there you my F1 menu up. Uh, operate in position, well, give me my Xbox controllers, there we go. Operate in position is left bumper and X. It would raise it up. You see right there how it puts pressure on the tracks. The tracks would help pull the bed underneath the my phone going off. Would help pull the bed underneath the module, so um let's see how this is gonna work. Uh, something tells me it's not going to take it. Really? Yeah, it's not going to take it. See how long it is? Hmm. That's not good. All right, well, I will be right back, folks. See, it's 12 minutes in, 13 minutes almost. And this is what happens when you don't test things before you record. Be right back. All right. This is, well, this is, was not perfect, folks. I, like, never got it on there. I ain't going to say how I got on there. Super strength wouldn't work. <sighs> yeah, it's, uh, I won't be making uh, this kind of anytime soon. Well, raise the things up. I'm in a hurry. See y'all at the cell place, folks. Alright, calling myself looking for the spinnery. Should be a big old ball of wool on top of it. I don't see it nowhere. Guys, Denton Bakery, so must be over there somewhere. I'll pull up the map. I'll stop right here. Pull up the map. I can't believe I don't know where it's at. Oh, right there it is. Okay. Let's tag that place so I can see it better. I knew it was over. Yeah. I, I knew it was over. Yeah, I think I'm going by again. Okay, either way, I would have missed it. Yeah, turn one street over. Oh, I wish they had a back door. Well, not back door, but back driveway. You know what I mean? No, 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 no. Ooh, I like to flip it. Yeah, I got back this monster trailer back up in there. I can do it. I can do it. You can do anything you put your mind to it, folks. Well, sometimes. Don't turn over. You're leaning. There we go. Alright, we got 67,968 or 967. And the price is still $5,017.56. So, let's see what we get, folks. Watch it won't sell. <gasps> 33,258. I like it. Back up in a hundred thousand. Yeah. Let me go get the other bell and get it on here and uh, we'll sell it. Yeah. At least that trip for me. All right. Got the second one. And this should be my turn right here. 
Yep, I see the green light down there. <laughs> Trigger. All right. Hey, you probably wonder what happened with all the money. Remember what I said? I either get cows or get the field leveled. Well, I went with the getting the field level so we plant some crops. And the, if I get cows, it's going to be at least a half a year to a year before we start getting anything uh, milk or anything from them. So there we go. Fifty-six thousand four hundred and seventy-eight dollars, folks. Bring us to one fifty-seven six seventy-three. I love it. I love it. I love it. All right. Good thing I had this trailer. All right. Let me uh, get back to the shop. I'll see you in there. All right. I, I do want to sell a load of sugar beets before we go. I know there's. Some, I'm trying for about twenty minutes on this, and, but I got him. He don't like very much. So I'm trying to keep an eye on, make sure he don't go over in our grass field and start working. You know how how workers do. Uh, so we got that little strip down through there, then that field there. Uh, let's go in here. I already got Mary's farm set for the sugar beets for the highest price. Uh, field seven uh, is plowed. It needs to be cultivated. Field twelve and sixteen also, but then everything will be ready to plant. I don't know what all I'm going to plant in wheat, but we are going to plant 22, 23, and 24, and probably 19 in wheat, so we have a good supply. So, uh, yeah. So, uh, let me go get the truck, and I'll see you at Mary's Farm. Right, I want to show you how much I had in here. Uh, 154.33 tons of sugar beets. Oh my. So we're loading them up and uh, yeah, see you at Miss Mary's. Coming around the corner, I'll be coming. And there we are, folks. Miss Mary's. Uh oh. Let's slow down. She'll get on to me coming up on this ramp pass. Oh, oh, oh. Not good on, on the fifth wheel there. Get a little bit better about right there. Alright. Oops a daisy. Miss Sandra, soulfoodqueen.net. I'm sending you some potatoes your way. Hope you can use them. <laughs> oh, I forgot to look at the price we had before I started. We're getting on up there folks. And I, I need to go ahead and pay off the loan on the sawmill. To be fair, I still ain't really paid nothing on that. You know, I, I got to pay it off in order to keep those two pieces of equipment. 20272 Not bad. That was expecting. Right, and we got 177 for it. Now we got several more loads, so I might make one more good one. One more load, folks. All right, folks, I got 95.30 tons left at Central uh, Transport Hub here left. And uh, the oven over there is empty. Back to Miss Mary I go. All right, one, oh, yeah, the second load the last load for today and uh well I should haul the rest of it I guess but okay I, I, I changed my mind the money's good we're gonna go ahead and it, it won't be a full load so yeah be right back I don't know where I think I was going I wasn't done unloading yet anyway the money's going up that's what I like her 90,000. Ooh, come on, come on, come on, come on. It's almost empty. Can we get it, folks? Can we get it? Yee, almost. 20,272. Almost hit that 2,000 mark. Next load probably will be right back. All right. Back with the rest of it. Wasn't a full load, but it counts, right? 
see how much we'll get over 200,000 might pay 100,000 to the sawmill loan actually I probably need to pay all of it to the sawmill loan but we still got to live take care of farm too so uh, I got myself in a big hole and we'll have to get myself out of it so wish me luck all right, we're almost 210 with 210. Hey, Lance Stewart, 210. Anybody watch him? Drop it down in the comments, folks. Speaking of, I love each and every one of y'all's comments and stuff. I really appreciate all the love and support. 16,916 bringing us to 214,880. Oh. But anyway, folks, this is going to do it. For this episode i hope you loved it if you do leave a comment a big fat like and um uh, if you're new don't forget to hit that subscribe button folks it's free all of it's free and it helps me out and uh be sure to comment you know that way i know that who's who's watching and stuff i'm not trying to spy on you and i just i like know who uh watches my videos and stuff and I will also not only this video but the next video just since I couldn't remember his name the dude was asking about the ba Baylor's I'm going to put a tag in here on him and also answer his question probably in the next video uh, we need to do some grass mowing thing about leasing field 9 so we can get a little bit more hay made but anyway I appreciate y'all leaving the, the comments and the love support folks I'm going to quit rambling so y'all have a great day a blessed day and I'll see you in the next episode alright later folks